want to talk to you in a brief way, and I want to talk to you about three hands. About three hands. And I wonder, can you guess how you would describe this hand? And no funny comments. <laughs> but how would you describe this hand? Is there anything in it? Anything in it? Come on. Now let me hear. Is there anything in it? Of course there's nothing in it because it's an, an empty hand. Man alive, you've got it already. And very often all kinds of people will ask me, hmm, what is a Christian? That's what they say to me. Is it someone who goes to church? Is it someone who says their prayers? Is it someone who reads the Bible? Is it someone who does nice things? And I say to myself, do you know what? Those are all things that Christians should do. But actually, that's not what a Christian is. A Christian is someone who has come to God with an empty hand. An empty hand. You see, all around me and all over the years, I meet people who come to me and they say, Stuart, I'm a Christian. I go to church every week and I read the Bible and I do this and I do that and I do so much. God must love me. He must accept me. And I say, well, that's good. In actual fact, it's really good. But that's not what a Christian is. A Christian is someone who comes to God with an empty hand, who realizes that there's nothing they can do or bring to God that's going to impress God, and he's going to say, Oh man, I've been waiting for you all my eternity. You've got it all right. Oh yes, you're one of my own. Because the God's honest truth is, no matter how much we do, and how good we are. The funny thing is, we are never that good. We are never good enough for God. And so we come to God with an empty hand and we say, God, there's nothing that I can bring to you that will make me acceptable to you and that will earn my forgiveness and my place in your family. I come with an empty hand and I trust the Lord Jesus. The old hymn writer said, Nothing in my hand I bring, simply to his cross I cling. But now here's another one for you. You've got to get this one because it's dead easy. That was the first hand, the, the empty hand. Here's the second hand. And I'm looking for a big unanimous response that everybody's going to get the answer right in this one. Here's the kind of hand. Watch it now and tell me, what kind of hand is this? Oh, it's a pointing hand. Who said pointing? Oh, man, you got it right. It's a pointing hand. And a pointing hand is so very, very important. Because when you come to God with an empty hand, and you come to place your trust in the Lord Jesus, then we've got to use the pointing hand. We've got to take off the duct tape. And we've got to put it aside. And we've got to point other people to Jesus. John the Baptist was a fantastic man. He was actually the cousin of Jesus. And he was preparing the way for Jesus to come. And he's down with his students. And he's teaching them and baptizing them. And then off in the distance he sees the Lord Jesus. And all of a sudden he says, Look my students, look, look. It's the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And he pointed all his students to the Lord Jesus. Amen. And that's what we have to do. When we come to God with an empty hand, trusting in the Lord Jesus, then we need to use the pointing hand Amen. and point others to Jesus. But I said there were three hands, didn't I? Well, you're going to have to use your imagination here. Because think of me as a big six feet seven guy. <laughs> All right, and I've been working out every day of my life. And my biceps are bulging, you know. And I've got a 15 pack. <laughs> and 
there's a little, a little, a little man down there, just a little teeny, peeny, weeny, weeny, wee man. And he's down there and he's, he, he's caught in muck and mire up to his neck. And he's crying out, Oh, somebody help me! Somebody help me! And I hear him and I see him and I get my big long hand and I reach it down. Oh, oh, he's not so little after all. Oh, oh, oh. Are you all right, little man? <laughs> yes, I'm great now. What kind of hand was that? It was a helping hand. A helping hand. And here's the wonderful, wonderful thing. The Lord Jesus Christ, whether you were a follower of his or not, everybody said that the Lord Jesus was someone who went about doing good. And when we have come to God with an empty hand, and when we have begun to start using the pointing hand to point our friends and our family members to the Lord Jesus, hey, that ain't not enough. Because we've got to use the helping hand. We've got to be good to one another. What does that mean if you're a kid? Oh, this is terrible. It means you might help to tidy your room. Or you might even give a go at making your bed. Or you may put your toys back in the box. Or if mom said, oh, I wish someone would go upstairs and get me my brush set, you would say, hey, mom, I'm on my way. And you bring it down. It may mean that grandma is very old and she can't walk very well. And you go with grandma and you let grandma take your arm and you help grandma where she wants to go. That's really important. We say that we are Christians. We have come to God with that empty hand. We have taken the duct tape off and we are talking about Jesus and telling other people Jesus all about him with that pointing hand. But for goodness sake, never let's forget about that helping hand. Now, you need to remember that little story of the three hands. I just want to say one more thing. I just want to say, Amen. That's all.